Future track is going to show us how this plays out here throughout the night tonight. You can see how we're quiet, but we will start to see more clouds build in as we get closer to morning. Still should stay mainly dry though during the morning hours. It's going to be by about noon when we start to see some of those showers popping up and you can see how scattered they are, how hit or miss they are during the day. So we're not all going to see these and if you get caught under one, it's not going to last very long either, but we will still have that chance through the afternoon into the early evening. I think by about eight, nine o'clock, most of these will be gone. Then heading into Saturday, we should be able to stay drier. You can still see some more cloud cover up in the Northwoods. We'll see more sunshine in the central part of the state, and we're still going to keep things fairly quiet as we head into the weekend. Now your hometown forecast for tomorrow, it's going to be a cool one. Uh, no doubt about that. Just 64 in Phillips, 64 in Rib Lake. We'll go 65 in Anago, 63 in Landa Lakes. Again, a few showers mainly during the afternoon and a little breezy too. winds out of the northwest 10 to 20 miles per hour. Loyal, we're looking at a high of 66 tomorrow, 67 in Nakusa, 68 in Adams. Again, feeling more like fall outside tomorrow. Those are average highs towards the end of September. That's what it's going to be like tomorrow. Low down to 50 tonight, so a little on the cool side overnight tonight. Tomorrow, again, we're looking at a high of just 66 degrees, some spotty showers mainly during the afternoon and evening. 70 on Saturday, but I think most of us will stay dry. 76 on Sunday, the warmer of the two weekend days. And then we should stay quiet and a little milder heading into the start of next week.